Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So this week's video, technically it's still tech, but it's a little different than my normal videos. Um, probably most of you have watched my videos don't realize I'm a diabetic. Um, and I control it in different ways. Uh, and that's what this video is about. So I want to introduce you to a product that's been around for a little bit, but they've updated it and made it more modern. And it is this. It is called Freestyle Libra. And it's a flash glucose monitoring system. And it has a sensor built in. So that's the product. And this is the reader. So you see, you'll see how that works in a minute. So basically what happens, now I've got one on, so I'm going to show you the entire process, which is, it sets up embedded on your arm. Now I know it sounds worse than it actually is, but that's the sensor right there. And to take it off, you just put some alcohol swab around it, and it'll come off. And uh, it looks a little nasty when it comes off, but not that bad. Um, so stay tuned and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so you get this, it comes all as one package. You have to go through your diabetic specialist, and if they recommend it to you, I highly, highly recommend it. Okay, it's not, it is, I'm not sure if it's something you can go out and buy, but I wouldn't, I mean, because usually your insurance will cover it. So it just opens up with a little tab on the side. I'm open that up. This is not the big part. What really matters on the inside is what comes with it. So we got this. And this, there's two little pieces, and believe it or not, even more important, is your little alcohol swabs that it comes with. So you don't need this for the time being, you can take all this other stuff and kind of tuck it away. And the first thing you're going to do is remove the one that's on your arm. Okay, so we got the alcohol swab. You don't have to be too careful with this because you're just wiping it away. What I'm doing is I'm just rubbing around the outer edges of the sensor. And what that does is it moistens it so that it's easier to remove. Because if you don't do that, it won't come off right. Okay, so that just allows me to pull it off. Okay, and that's it. There's no mark left over. Well, there's a little bit of gunk. But you wipe that off and get ready to put on your other sensor. So that's what this is. That's the sensor. And I don't know if you can even see this. It, it looks bigger than it actually is. There's a little hair. It looks like a hair. It's not an actual needle. But the force of it going in your arm, you, don't, you won't feel it. You won't feel it at all. And it just pushes it into your bloodstream. And then it, was, it takes an hour for the sensor to start being able to read it. Because it's monitoring the blood flow through your system. Good idea. So we're going to move on to the new sensor and how to put it on. So in this package here, you've got your sensor. Sensor pack, I should say. So your sensor is actually going to be in here. And I'll show you that in just one second. So this one here is going to be your sensor. Sorry, I got it wrong the first time. So you just twist it. It'll come off. And what you need is in here. So you're going to line up. There's a little line right here. And on this one, there's a line as well. So you line the two of them up. Push it down. You hear that click in place. You're ready to go. Now, before you do that, use the other alcohol swab. Clean and sterilize the area. Don't put it back in the same area. Choose a different spot. Usually nearby is what I like to do. And then you can put it in there. Alright, so we're going to do that. Be right back. So open it up. This shirt's not the most cooperative shirt I've ever had for doing this. A lot of my other ones are a lot better. And now I'm just going to clean this area. Kind of like cleaning um, the paste off of your uh, 
CPU, uh, yeah, off your CPU. You just dab it and wipe it off. Make sure you wipe it good. Wipe it good. Okay. Make sure it's all completely off. You don't want it uh, dirty. And use the uh, wipe that's left. And just go down below so you can sterilize the area down below it. And once you've done that, you're ready to put on the sensor. So you're just going to pull it out. And you just need this part. You're going to find the area. And you're going to press. Just press hard. You hear that little click? Hold it there for a second. And release. Now you've got your new sensor. And now we have to activate it though. Okay, so activating it is simple. You take your reader, push that little button here to turn it on, and on here it says start, start new sensors. You just touch the button, it's, it's just touch, and it says start the new sensor, scan the sensor to start it. Okay, so now it says it's going to be ready in an hour. And then after that, you'll know what your blood glucose level is going to be. In the beginning, the first, I've noticed since I've been using it, the first hour, or even an hour and a bit, after you first put it on, the readings are, they're not accurate. They're just not. They're either too low or they're too high. And so that's why you still want to keep your, uh, one that you prick your finger with. Okay? You put the uh, needle on your finger and test it the old manual way. But the beauty of this is once it's on here, on my arm, you can do this through the clothing, okay? Nobody needs to be able to see it. You don't feel it's there, like, you can hit it, up, laid on it, everything. It's, you don't, uh, you can take a shower with it on, you can wash, everything, like, it doesn't matter. Rain doesn't hurt it, okay? It won't come on unless you, it won't come off. Unless you use that alcohol swab. So this is counting. So if I go to scan it, I'm just going to turn this off. So I'm going to turn it back on. And I know the time is on up. So it says the sensor can be used in 59 minutes. So it's tracking already. So if I try and do it, it's, it's just simply not going to work. So we'll come back after an hour. And we'll show you what it actually, uh, we'll show you, prove to you that it actually works. All right. So it's been an hour. We're going to take our reader, turn it on, and then we're just going to scan. Now, I've got it here. So it takes my reading. Now, it's a bit high right now because I've been a bad person and then I had a couple of chocolate bars. Don't do that. But just to demonstrate, like I said, you can use it with it being underneath your clothing. So we're going to do this again. Scan it over top of the clothing, picks it up, gives me the reading. Now, this sensor is good for 28 days. And in the meantime, usually when they send you uh, your package, usually you'll get three of them. And that way you've always got a spare hanging around so that you can use it should something happen. So 28 days is the length of time that the sensor will last. And then you got to replace it. All right. So that's all there is to it. You got your reader. It, another thing it does is uh, it gives you a logbook. And you can make notes on here as well. And that way if your sugar's high, you can annotate that it was high. You can write down, yeah, I just had a chocolate bar five minutes ago, which we're not supposed to have, but if you do, <laughs> it's going to go high. So don't do that. But I did it for demonstration purposes, of course. All right. All right, so it's not my typical video. It's not tech, but it's kind of tech. So if you like this video, hit that like. If you have any questions at all, or just diabetic-related questions, I've been, I've been through the uh, gambit. So we'll probably know more than I care to talk about. But if you have a question and you need some information, um, now don't ask me medical information. I'm not a medical person, so I can't tell you that. But if you just have general questions, 
about getting it or how just let me know send me a send me a comment and uh, I'll help you out as much as I can I do find that it helps me out tremendously I don't have to uh, sit there and stick something in my finger and do the stick and then check it well, I can do this and check it every 10 minutes if I want to there's no limit because it's going to store it on this device so that device is your lifeline keep it with you I don't keep it with me all the time I keep it with me it's in the house all day if I go somewhere I take it with me that way if my sugar is getting low this is going to tell you right away and then you can take precautions if it's getting low you don't want to get too low that's dangerous but you also don't want it to get too high but all those kind of questions throw at your specialist throw at your uh, diabetic specialist or your doctor talk to them about this product and I guarantee you they can help you out one way or another. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Think about subscribing. Hit that bell for future notifications of other videos that I do. And thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day.